The Tennessee Titans head to L.A. this week, only a game over 500 after taking that L last week. Tennessee falls to 7-6. and six. This week, they take on the Chargers, who have the same record after getting that dub in Week 14. Justin Herbert, though, was simply the difference in this football game. Yet they are three games behind the leader of their division. Hey, that's the season we're in. Chargers seem to refine their identity in their win over Miami. They are at their best when their passing game makeup is Beatles or Zeppelin-esque. When Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, and Keenan Allen are all out there together and healthy, it's a different challenge for the opposing defense. Williams, feet down, touchdown! Only mean they need the four guys. They're nowhere near those group's levels. But Herbert versus Miami, 39 of 51, 367 yards, 102.3 rating. Herbert the pocket, goes for Williams, brought it in! Williams. Williams, the big play guy, six targets, six catches, 116 yards and a touchdown. Eckler, the safety valve, eight targets, eight catches, 59 yards. They're lucky that wasn't a touchdown. And Allen, the most important of the pass catchers. He's the key, and Miami could not stop him from going through doors. 14 targets last week, 12 catches. He shovels it, give you a little Mahomes. Good run after they shovel from Keenan Allen for another first down. That's the bolt-up equation, and that spells trouble for the Titans. Their defense just allowed Trevor Lawrence to drop three touchdowns on him, 368 yards, a 121.9 rating. Looking deep in the end zone, touchdown! What a catch! Titans have good pass rushers. They weren't good versus Jacksonville. Zero sacks, 42 pass attempts. Fires, and it's caught for a first down. Titans don't have good season numbers versus quarterbacks or wide receivers. A 108.3 rating allowed to that position. No team more generous. And Rogers will throw to the back of the end zone and be caught there. Chargers tight end Gerald Everett was quiet last week. Herbert targets him plenty though. And if Tennessee covers him like they did Evan Ingram, he could get bombarded. They gave up 162 yards to Ingram, two TDs. Merry Christmas. Okay, okay, well, how about this? The King is finally back. I mean, aside from the two lost fumbles. That one, though, that was big boy football. Just tip your cap to the dude. Josh Allen comes away with the football after Derrick Henry had picked up the first down. So I don't know, is he still in a slump because of the two lost fumbles, or are the runs he had good enough to offset them and he's out of it? 17 carries, 121 yards, 7.1 a run, and a touchdown. Henry's got a first down and much more. Down the sideline, Derrick Henry still going. Seems like another stat line like that could be coming. Chargers run defense versus running backs, 5.5 a run given up, worst in the league. So each team's biggest offensive strength, the other's biggest defensive weakness. So what else then? The Titans would love to get Traylon Burks back for this one. Ryan Tannehill misses him. He doesn't come in cold. Tannehill made some nice throws last week, rating over 90, couple touchdowns. What an answer by Tennessee! But he also threw a pick, lost a fumble, got sacked four times, so it was no cube day. Those four turnovers swung things too far when combined with their porous pass team. That was a very quick pass by Tannehill, and Wingard was right there for his fourth career interception. L.A. didn't get a single takeaway versus Miami, but they did play their best game against the pass this season. Held Tua Tungavailoa to 145 yards on 10 of 28 passing, 65.3 rating, only 5.2 yards per attempt. They flush Tua, and they get to him with Morgan Fox. See what else you think makes a good talking point? Throw it into the comment section with a score. Let's see what this panel has.